It's time to rise up out of your slumber. It's time to get armed and ready for war. It's time to start putting on the full armor of God. For there's going to be Christian spiritual warfare from about 2022 through 2062. Men cannot even begin to argue with God or stand up against God. And yet the Lord wanted us to have free moral agency. He wanted us to be able to choose between right or wrong. And that's why humanity has been in the spiritual dark ages where God has hidden away his face, his power, his glory, his majesty, and his Bible, 1 Corinthians 2, 7, for 6,000 years, while the prince of the power of the air rules over this world. Couldn't be atheist. There couldn't be fascist. There couldn't be denominationalism. There couldn't be men standing up with their Bibles against the Bible from God if God had not put us in ignorance for 6,000 years of humanity. Again, it's about free moral agency. God wants us to choose the right thing, the ways of God over the ways of men. Started in the Garden of Eden. God says, do things my way, and you're going to be blessed and protected exceedingly. And they were in the Garden. But you do things man's way. The day you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and evil, the day you do that, you're going to die. You're going to be in the spiritual dark ages. Guess what? Man has been in the spiritual dark ages for 6,000 years total time now of humanity, where the prince of the power of the air has ruled over man. Why? So that we can test out the subjective truth of men, the moral standards of men versus the moral standards of God. How's it been working out for the world? Men trying to stand up to God. Men's moral standards. They had more. That's why the world is in such a mess and it's falling apart. But it's time for warfare. God wanted man to suffer the consequences of trying to do things our way. And he wanted that for 6,000 years of humanity. Where in the thousand years, the Lord's Sabbath, you see, for six days, God let men do things their way. But for one day, the Lord's Sabbath, 1,000 years, God's going to show us how it's done. He's going to rule over this earth. And that reign, that thousand year reign, is divided up into two ages by the denominational apostasy. The rule of Satan of the last 1,680 years. Now it's coming full circle back to the kingdom of God. We fought against God. It didn't work out. God said he would. You're going to die the day you eat of the truth of knowledge of good and evil. We've been in the spiritual dark ages. How ignorant were we? God hid his face, his power, his glory, his majesty, and his Bible away from us. We couldn't even understand Genesis chapter 3, where Satan, the man of sin, encouraged Adam and Eve to do things their way. We couldn't understand that. We couldn't understand that the Bible was given in 70 AD once and for all times to the saints so that Christ could reign over his kingdom for 1,000 years. We couldn't understand that because we couldn't have learned about free moral agents. If we'd have known truth, the truth of the Bible, if we'd have had the Bible from God for 1,000 years, for 6,000 years of humanity, we would have no conflict. You see, it's the Bibles of God, Bibles of men that crucified Christ. The Septuagint, they taught that Elohim was singular, denying, therefore, that Christ came in the flesh, 1 John 4, verse 3, and that's why they crucified him. That's how they crucified him, ignorance. The only way men can fight against God is in ignorance, and God wanted free moral agency. He wanted men, he needed men to be in ignorance so that they could try and stand up against him. You see, the subjective truth of men is missing the mark of the objective truth of God. 
it doesn't work. It is sin when we have the royal law on the sort of completed Bible, perfect law of liberty. That's why we read. That's why we read in Romans chapter five, verse thirteen, where there's no law, there is no sin. God still takes care of us when, when Satan's ruling over this world. He just wants us to learn our lessons without it costing us our souls. The truth from God's word is exceeding abundantly above anything we could have ever imagined. The Bible from God is more powerful than we know. The ways of God are as high as the heavens above the ways of men. We can't fight against God. That's why he's hidden truth from it. It's so powerful. 3, verse 20. Isaiah 55. 9 and following. But you better gird up your loins. It's time. Are you fearful a little bit? Should be. I am. It's terrifying. Every eye is going to see him. I'm not sure that's physical eyes, but every eye is spiritual eyes. We're all going to know that God exists. And those that have ears to hear, those who will admit it, Start getting ready. If you were called before the foundations of the world, you're going to understand the mysteries of the kingdom. You're going to understand the Bible. You're going to be spiritually enlightened. It's going to be powerful stuff. Acts 17 30, the times of ignorance God winked at. He overlooked. Well, we didn't have a choice. He wanted us to learn about free moral agency. So we had to be ignorant. We had to be ignorant. We would have just melted if we saw the glory, the power, and majesty, and the Bible from God. But the times of ignorance, God overlooked. But now he commands all men everywhere to repent. Get ready. Revelation 18, verse 4. It's time to come out from among them. What's that? The moral standards of men. The time when we were learning our lessons about free moral agency. It didn't work. It's time to come out. It's time to come out of the school of hard knocks. It's time to get out of there. Because in Daniel 2, verse 44, and this is, a, this is a prophecy that will be fulfilled twice. Daniel 2, 44. The kingdom of God, the moral standard of God, the Bible from God is going to break up and consume the moral standards of men, the Bibles of men, the ways of men. It's a foregone conclusion. God is going to win. But he had to hide his face. He had to stand back. And now for 40 years, we're going to fight. This fight is to get ready for the second age of the kingdom of God. It's going to be exceeding abundantly above anything we could have ever imagined it was. We have to fight, though, before the second coming of the Lord in about 40 years. Thank you for watching us today. We have commentaries, paperbacks, hardbacks, zip drives, EPUBs available. I want to share with you the pearl of great price. The question we should all ask is, what is good and evil? Objective moral truth from God is good and subjective moral truths and lies from men are evil. Let God be true and every man a liar. For 1,680 years, the Lord has hidden objective truth in the book of Revelation. This has allowed mankind to test out the subjective moral truths of men. We're starting to come out of the spiritual dark ages and are restoring the perfect law of liberty. www.lulu.com slash spotlight slash time of the son of man.